Hi everyone, it's Maggie, and I'm here with some happy mail. Gail, who is father of four, had sent me an email asking for my address. She said she had uh, something she wanted to send me, and so I received it in the mail today. Thank you so much, Gail, and I think this is a little more than what you had told me you were going to send. <laughs> but anyway... Um, Gail has a little um, car whoops card hopefully I don't know if she wants it all to be shown but um, flatter yourself uh, permanent makeup by Gail Fleming I didn't know you were a makeup artist Gail that's cool so that's her her card Maggie, these are all from the same dress. And I think this might have been in here, in this one here. Um, I took everything out of the package because something was like rattling around and I wasn't sure what it was. And she sent me a bag, a little bag of um, goodies and it had opened and they were just kind of all over the place. So um, I just got it all together and um, wanted to do that before. I started the video, but I have I honestly haven't really looked at anything yet. So um, she sent me this paper pad, which is beautiful. And um, Gail knows that my favorite color is purple, all shades of purple, lavender. And so she sent me this little pad. And she sent me a note, which I did read. And look at this postcard and I will um, keep the note to myself and she sent me these awesome images look at this look at the baby oh my gosh and look at this married couple that had to be from like oh I don't know the 40s 50s maybe and look at this Wow and she has it in a different shade these are oh another little look at the face oh my gosh thank you so much Gail I love these images I love um, vintage images I really do and then Gail may, sent me one of her flowers that she made and I love this look at how the t different textures how shabby beautiful it is oh I love this you really did a nice job on this and I I just love it. look at the like the eyelash trim she used um, oh, I'm not sure I'm so bad with material I've got to learn what all the different materials are but um, I think this is organza but I'm not positive positive. and look at she um, added this beautiful little um, trim here I l and look at the bling center. I love this, Gail. I'll add this <clears throat> to the flowers that um, other friends have sent to me. I have them in a big bowl. So thank you. And um, this was actually by itself. And I'm not sure if this is, if she had asked me, if she sent me a picture and asked me if I wanted some. And... Um, because of the fringe and I said oh I'll take a little piece and look at what she sends <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> it is beautiful though look at this okay wait a minute I think this more oh wait a minute this must be more in here then she's got another um, some more um, oh, what do you call these I love these I wonder if these this is from a curtain maybe I don't know and she just added that on that is very, very pretty. And this is perfect for Gypsy. Perfect. So thank you, Gail. And this is the fringe. And I can't even show you. It's got to be, oh, it's got to be um, like two feet long, all this fringe trim. And look at the top of it. Let me show you the top. Look at it. it's all like um, knotted. I love that. The only thing is, I hope you don't mind, but I may have to like cut the fringe down some 
in order for it to be, you know, usable. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So thank you so much, Gail. Wow, you sent me a ton. Okay, and then um, let's open this little package here. Let's see. Oh, aren't those pretty? Again, perfect for, perfect color for Gypsy. And let's see if I can just, maybe I can just keep the bow intact here. Beautiful bow. And look at this sparkly. It's a, um, it's a ribbon, a wire ribbon. Very nice. Love the color. That will make a beautiful bow. So thank you. And then this is some fabric. <clears throat> it's, oh, I think this is um, also with this. It's all part of um, a dress that she had cut up. And this is perfect for making shabby flowers. It's almost like a muslin, so I don't know if it's a linen or cotton or what. And she left the, um, you know, the um, silky inside, so both of them will be great for um, making making flowers. So thank you very much. Oh my gosh, Gail, I love these. Look at this. Love those. I'm trying to hold the camera steady. Sorry, guys. Hope you don't get seasick. It's like every time I talk, just talking and it moves, I will find another way. <laughs> so those there. And there's a button that belonged in that little bag. So let's see what we have here. <gasps> oh, look at... Oh, love those. And this will make beautiful flowers. Look at that. Oh, there's more of them. Wow. Look at look at it's go they go all over. And look at this one has a feather. How cool is that? Oh, thank you so much, Gail. I'm not even going to be able to get this huge piece all in camera, but look at this. It's just it's yards of it and along it looks like along the bottom of these appliques that I can use also. This is a beautiful shade of lavender. So thank you. And then there's another piece of the, of it. And then, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. She used this on her flower that she made me. Let me see. Yeah, look at that. She did. Wow, thank you so much for this piece. Oh, that is, I love the color. That is absolutely gorgeous. And here's another shade. And then, let me see here. I think this might be taffeta. And then this is very cool. Look at that. That would be nice for some texture, either mixed media, flowers, all kinds. And it's a very pale lilac, too. You might not be able to, to, to tell, but that's really beautiful. Thank you so much. And then I'm going to show you the goodies that she put in this bag so they don't go all over the place. She sent me a couple of those. Look at these buttons. These buttons are so cool. Look at those. And some beads. Look at the size of that one. And then these little ones. I can't do one by one or we'll, we'll be here all day with all she sent me. There's another one of those flowers. This is a cool pin. You can tell that's vintage. Actually, it might be a clip-on earring. Look at it. It's a butterfly. Oh, that's beautiful. And let's see. Here's a different one. Wow, that is really pretty. Thank you so much, Gail. You sent so much. And there's a for beads and some pearls. Here's a oh, here's an earring. Love dangles. And here's another one with a feather. 
another one of these and here's a blue and some more pearls and beads they really are beautiful and these buttons oh my gosh those buttons are beautiful look at that one that will make a gorgeous flower center and it looks like she even made a paper bead I haven't tried that I don't think I have the patience for it and some more vintage buttons wow look at all that and there's the other button and then this so this is my happy meal from Gail 504 and I'll put her um, a link to her channel in the description box so please go and say hi to her and check out her videos and she does have a challenge going on I think it ends this weekend and I am making her something it's not going to make the challenge but I told her it may not so um, it will just be a gift to her um, I don't you know I, I'll just have to wait for her next challenge and try to get into that but I do want to um, send her what I'm making or so. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, everyone. And thank you so much, Gail. I will talk to you soon. And thanks for watching. And I'll be back again soon with, hopefully, a project. Bye for now.